Hello, my name is Tavros Pelekanos. I'm coming from Athens, Greece, and in the next hour we are going to speak about treatment plannings and tr different treatment modalities in the aesthetic zone. We are going to speak about abutment design and soft tissue considerations. Uh, so we are mainly, we are going to focus on the uh, transmucosal contour, the establishment of the new transmucosal connection uh, when we place an implant. Uh, so we have so many materials that they are coming in contact with soft tissue. We have composite, gold, titanium, alumina, zirconia, and now in the last two, three years we are we're ha we're having uh, two new materials coming in contact and we are using more lithium desilicate or even feldspathic ceramics. So these are all materials that are coming in contact with the soft tissue. I'm going to share with you a lot of uh, cases like this one, an older case that uh, we placed uh, zirconia abutments like 10 years ago and uh, these are still slides that I have uh, used at that time and we have seen that in many of these cases we have pronounced uh, soft tissue recession less, like you can see here uh, even if the bone looks uh, good around these uh, ceramic abutments. So, we are going to speak about the predictability of the establishment of the mucosal barrier uh, when we are using the one-time, one-abutment concept. So we are having uh, different situations, different soft tissue uh, um, adherence uh, between abutments, different materials and uh, different uh, types of uh, connections. So. The gold standard is still to use a screw retained transmucosal um, uh, provisional restoration, uh, like you can see here in this case. But in this case, uh, in every case we do it, we have to do uh, a uh, customized impression, like you can see here, and to proceed with the final uh, restoration. So we are going to speak about new trends. Uh, the technique that we are using in Athens, the definitive abutment-driven transmucosal contour, we are going to speak about how we transform from a cement retain to a screw retained restoration, a little bit about the socket shield technique and how we can do abutments with a computer. Uh, so the immediate abutment connection at stage two surgery is a concept that we are using the last three uh, to four years uh, with very, very good results in our clinic. Uh, so you can see, as you can see here in this case, and we will describe exactly uh, the situation, how we uh, do this procedure. And next topic, very important, how we avoid the intraoral cementation, very, very important. So uh, when we place the implant, it's very important we disconnect just one time and we will show you the whole procedure, how we do it and the, how we cement the whole uh, uh, the crown uh, extra orally. So very important is to uh, really to have the implant in the right position and uh, that the uh, access uh, screw, the access hole is coming to the palatal surface uh, as you can see here in this uh, case. Uh, and a lot of cases you will, we will discuss uh, before and after you can see here the situation and uh, before and after radiograph in this uh, canine in the lower uh, mandible uh, before and after the labial view, the, sa the same case, the occlusal view, again the access hole is shielded with resin and of course computer is used in order to fabricate uh, abutments and this is case you can see the combination with a socket seal te technique which will be described and uh, we will use uh, computer navigation in order to place our implants and in order to uh, make the provisional like you can see here and this is the final and of course every time we do uh, this uh, procedure we are not placing cords in uh, the implant sites. So all these techniques will be discussed in these uh, uh, next uh, f uh, 45 minutes and we are going to have uh, overview how we do this uh, uh, immediate definitive abutment connection, how we really can combine this technique with the extra oral cementation uh, so we have one disconnection and we are going a little bit to discuss how we can really modify the surface of all ceramic restoration in order to have a better adherence uh, for the soft tissue. Thank you very much. 
For more education programs, visit the Guide Institute at www.guidedental.com.